two things you need to confirm is you need to type the, your IP address in this zigzag software. Another thing is match the port in the same value. For example, here right now, I've already pre-typed the 192 uh, blah, blah, blah thing. It's same like my IP address I showed before. Another thing is just change the port value to get together. So in here, the port number, uh, maybe you cannot see that. It's, it's mirrored. So right now, I just type it in 8003. And in here, in the night network port, you can type it uh, 8003. And then you can go to the setting page, the sensor page. You can choose the different value you have in here and go to the play. It will go to the star. So right now, see, the data is coming from your phone to the computer. So for example, if I locate it, if I accelerate it, the data is coming from your phone to your computer. So what we can do is we can just get this data and connect to the particle uh, parameters and to control the effect in real time. Okay? It's really amazing. For example, if I, this is the X, Y position, for example, right? And you rotate it, you can see the value here. The gravity, the acceleration, if I turn up and down. So now your phone has become the sensor of your project. Of course, we have a lot of sensors, so you can uh, get all the sensors from your phone. So it depends how you design your project. So, so right now, if I go to the sensor page, the chain has been broke. So nothing data coming from to the uh, phone to the uh, software. You have to press the start button. Okay, it's coming again. So it's see, it's really easy. But for if you are working in the uh, Windows operating system, you also need to go to the network setting to find in, to find your uh, IP address about your computer and make sure uh, the network port are the same in here and also in your uh, software. Okay, so right now, maybe we can select it. Select, select. So uh, maybe I want to using the X, Y position. So for example, I want to uh, flip it. Uh, I want to see, so maybe the gravity data is the same as I want to use. So maybe uh, select the gravity, gravity one, gravity two, gravity three, and we can uh, connect. Oh, gravity three. So we just get the channel. Okay. So we can also connect a mass in case we have need to do some change about this value. So far we just placed right here. We don't want to change anything. So uh, we can connect that low and bring this to the particle. So I just want to using this form to control uh, the direction of this particle system. Okay. So what I can do is maybe go to the uh, particle and open this view and using that, go to the main. Just by referencing that value. See, now the particle are reacting with my form. So the, the data is not Right now, it's not obvious because the data, as you can see, if you're zooming, the data value are so tiny. So it's from uh, zero to zero. It's not even reach out to one. So that's why I place a mass here. So we can change, we can see what's the range of all this value. So it's from uh, minus one to one. Okay. So we can change the range from minus one to one uh, to range uh, minus 10. To 10. Now, if we go back and see what's happening in our particle. So if I just rotate, see, and go back, go up, go down, go up. Now we are using our phone as a sensor to control the effect about this particle system. It's all in real time. Okay, now I'm going to show you the second way, the second software. So, so far I just stopped doing that. I'm going, I create my program. I'm going to the touch OSD. Okay, so it's the same way how to do that. So we add in an OSD in. So let's go to the setting page about this uh, touch OSD in here. 
uh, you can, it's the same logic about how to use that. First, I need to make sure they are using the same uh, IP address of the network. Uh, 1.192.168.0.31. Okay, it's the same thing. Let's confirm. Then, go to the port setting. It's here. Now it's setting in the 8000. So I can, 8000 is the same thing in here. So I can change the from 8000 to maybe uh, whatever the number I want. For example, uh, 10,000. And then it is matched with my uh, operator, OSC operator in here. So I can click down here, go back. Then if we place these sliders, as you can see, so it is reacting in real time and bring the data into touch letter. And also if we go to the second slider. Each time we uh, played with the sliders, the value will come into the touch letter. Okay. And also a button. On, off, on, off, on, off. And then we can go to the uh, another page. We can click. And we can uh, have in the x, y position, x, y position, x, y position. So I find this x, y position not really interesting. So what we can do is the same thing. Go to the select and choose the x, choose the y. And same thing, we connect a mess. Uh, connect a move. Uh, go back. I want to control the position of this uh, circle shape. Let's add in a transform in between. Transform, transform. First, testing the data. Okay. So, what is happening? Okay. Uh, X, Y. It's not, it's not obvious. Maybe I can turn it a little bit smaller. First, I can just uh, delete that expression. Then using, trying to see what's happening there. Okay, so uh, then we can bring, connect this value to the transform X, transform Y. Chop reference, chop reference. So in this case, we can using our uh, data interface in touch learner, uh, in the Touch OC to control the transform here. As you can see, you can change, as you can see this operator. I'm using this position to control the sphere in the 3D world. So right now, the particle are reacting with my input. Okay. So this is the two way, two software to bring your phone as a sensor into the touch center and control the effect in real time. And this is the basic uh, things about how you play with, uh, 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 OSC. Yeah, so that's pretty much all the things I want to teach, I want to share.